So, those of you who are just tuning in, nothing happened before this. Nothing at, at all. I did try to play Soma for about 45 to minutes to an hour. Didn't go so well. Not because I was scared, but because I got lost. I had no idea what to do and gave up. I just literally gave up. I, the game is just too hard. There's too much puzzle stuff in it. Uh, too many things you have to find, too many things you have to discover. Uh, it's not horror -y enough, not horror-y enough. Uh, so instead we're gonna play Kerbal Space Program. Let's actually decide what we're going to do. Um, I am thinking we're going to build, we're gonna start by building a big rocket and launching it somewhere nice. And you know what, I haven't done one thing yet. I haven't tried doing one thing and that's building something that can refuel itself. Um, that is a refueling module, I guess, um, using the, um, I, I believe it's called ISRU, uh, I ISRU, ISRU converter, that's essentially the unit that allows you to convert various um, uh, minerals to, to fuel, uh, so I, I've never done that, I, I want to see if I can actually do it, if I can succeed in doing this, uh, and if it, we can we can actually make it work. Um, this is one thing I haven't tried since the release of the uh, version 1.0 So maybe we can launch something that can actually uh, Process minerals. So this says it's a mobile processing plant that, that can take raw materials containing even trace amounts of oxygen and hydrogen Crack them into useful fuel products when operated by a skilled engineer. You'll be able to operate with better efficiency oh, Okay, so I need an engineer to operate with better efficiency so let's uh, let's maybe make that. Let's actually just make that and see how it goes. Forget about so much. So much never happened. Uh, okay, that is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. This is huge. Holy crap! I need to use a Mark II, I think. Wow. All right. I should have read more about this. Oh, here we go. Large ore. Here we go. This is good enough. Okay, large ore. I think one should be enough, but two is better. And this will be uh, no. I should just I just put one. It will convert things by itself, and then the rest will be just fuel. We're gonna put some fuel stuff in here uh, because what I maybe I should do it this way. Uh, because what I want to do is I want to build um, a small spaceship, a small lander that is able to essentially just land on anybody. Um, any kind of a planet or any kind of a moon and then refuel itself and then fly into the Outer space again. I don't know if this is enough fuel. Probably not uh, Now one thing I don't like is that this is a little bit too large. I think this is too large for a moon lander uh, But I have no choice. It has fuel. It has storage container and it has a few um, an engine it needs uh, struts as well to land but I don't like where this is going. I don't like how big this is. I may have to change this a little bit so that it's a little bit maybe more compact. Also, oh yeah, I, I need to add, um, where is that miner thing? The thing that mines the actual ore. Oh, Drillomatic Mining ex Excavator. There we go. Service Harvester. Uh, so, so. Two? Put two? Two is enough? I think two is enough. Parachute on top. Because this is coming back home, right? That's right. So we still have 1500 Delta V. Uh, this is looking really good. Do I want to separate this? No, I don't. Do I? Yes, I do. I want to separate this when we come back home. So we're going to put one of these things. But I'm gonna put Valentina in here because she's my favorite. I'm gonna put Valentina because we need a female on the board. If things go wrong, she's gonna fix everything. Um, all right, so let's do this. Uh, let, so this is essentially what will be landing on the moon. Now let's think backwards. This is how I always try to plan my missions. Um, to get to the moon, we have to first get into orbit around the moon. So we need to have another stage with approximately, I would say about a thousand Delta V to escape Kerbal atmosphere uh, or Kerbal gravitational pull and to also reach the moon's atmosphere, uh, not atmosphere, but moon's gravitational pull. So we're gonna put another tank right here, uh, bigger tank. Can I have a bigger tank, please? Um, let's, we're gonna put, uh, <laughs> this is so tiny. That's not the right engine, that's why. There we go. Uh, so we have two stages now. First, uh, this is the landing stage on the moon. This is the circularization slash uh, deorbit stage. 
And now we want to get a stage that will actually launch our spaceship, this huge monster, into the orbit around Kerbin. So, all right, good enough. Is this, is this looking good or what? This is looking horrible, but <laughs> that's fine. This is a really fat rocket. So this will separate, right? Yeah, I hope so. Okay, you know what? This works. This works. Um, let's do this, and then we're going to put two liquid uh, fuel boosters on the side. So maybe something that looks like this. Okay, I think this is looking good. Let's, let's launch this once. See how this goes. Uh, I'm gonna name this. Uh, I don't know. Mooney. Mooney one. Mooney one. Couldn't uh, figure it out. All right. So we have Brule Kerman, Jebediah Kerman, and Valentina Kerman. Not related at all. Sitting in this really beautiful large uh, rocket that looks like nothing in real life. We're gonna try to launch this manually without using KOS. Uh, although I am going to start using KOS more frequently because I really, really like it. You can see that it's actually right here, even though I didn't include it in this particular rocket. So, um, we have three stages, actually four stages, I believe. And hopefully this actually works. So let's see how this flies. Okay. 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 No? Ah, uh, rockets, you make my life so difficult. Okay, I made a mistake somewhere. I don't know where. Okay, it says that my TWR is... Oh, oh, it's on Kerbin. Oh, sorry, on the moon. On Kerbin, it's only 0.62. Oh, that makes total sense. That's the mistake I made. All right. Okay, that was my bad. That was definitely my mistake. One small step for a man, but a huge leap for mankind. Uh, yeah, that was a very, very small step and not very far. But hopefully this time it will work. And yes, at least we didn't explode. You're right, Danish wetbot. At least we didn't explode. Okay, and three, and two, and one. Ah, we're flying. Kind of. That is such a funny looking star starship, spaceship. Alright, let's start our gravity turn very, very slowly. I'm gonna start moving. Uh, my TWR is too low, actually. But I'm gonna slowly move toward the east. Very, very gently. I really hope this spaceship doesn't flip because it looks like it's very, very top heavy. And I hope it doesn't flip. Please don't flip on me. Oh, it's already wobbly. That is not a good sign. It's already wobbly. Uh, Bill Kerman, if you look at his face right now, he's just, he feels like I feel right now. We're just, we're not sure about this situation. Valentina Kerman, though, she's like, yeah, this is great. Doesn't matter where you put me, I'm still gonna enjoy my time there. Uh, all right, that, if you look at, uh, look at this, it's just wobbling all over the place. I don't even know why. I don't want to ask questions, I'm just, I just hope it gets somewhere. I hope it gets somewhere into space. Space-like environment. Okay, we lost our uh, first stage. Here comes the second stage. The main rocket. Whoa, what's happening here? No! This is just not right! This is should not be happening. This should not be happening. But it's happening. <laughs> Why is it sticking out? That's just so wrong. Let's see if we can make it somewhere. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try to boost my engines. I should have brought. Uh, I needed. I need wing wings here. What, is this 90 degrees? I can't even see. Am I going east? Which way is east? Am I gonna have a polar orbit? I think so. I need to go a little bit more this way. Hey, go this way. Go this way. And stop sticking out. Go inside the thing. You're supposed to be inside the fairings. They're supposed to protect you. You're not doing this right. You're doing this too kerbal e. This fairing is just failing me so badly right now. <laughs> uh, I needed to bring more struts. This is a solution to everything in Kerbal Space Program. Bring more struts. But you know what? We're still flying. I mean, I, I, I'm complaining, but we're still doing fine. We're actually going east. We're going. Uh, we're not going. We're actually not going fast enough. We're not raising enough altitude, unfortunately. But, nevertheless. We are going to space, even though things are just not looking good for us. <laughs> uh, no, that's a no. That is a big no. That is a big no! Or is it? 
I don't know. Let's find out. This is really how Kerbos do it. I mean, this is how they explore the universe. Flipping everywhere, jumping up and down, and just sticking out of... Okay, there we go. <laughs> this is why I didn't want it to stick out like that. I don't know why it was well, doing it. Look, the, the spaceship is actually still oh, yeah. flying. Uh, well, might as well test the parachutes, right? Let's test the parachutes. And the parachutes are... Are they working? Are they working? Are they working? Yeah, they're working. Look at that. Yay. <laughs> Safety first, everyone. Safety first. Hi, Raccoon12. How are you? Uh, and no, Danish, you're not dying. I'm pretty sure you're going to survive this. Uh, you are going to survive... Wait. Where's the parachute? Where's the parachute? I just had a parachute a second ago, didn't I? What happened to my parachute? Okay, it might create... There was a parachute. Did it cut? Oh, it cut by accident. Okay, I'm sorry, Danish uh, wetbot. I, I think you are dying. Um... Not exactly how I expected this to happen. Mostly because things got a little bit too wobbly. And you know what? I'm 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 gonna pretend this never happened. I'm gonna pretend this never happened. Revert to vehicle assembly. And let's try this again. This is a perfectly well-designed rocket. It's been tested and retested by the most brilliant minds in on Kerbin. And everything will be just fine. The chatter you hear right now tells you that everything will be fine. Do not worry. Just cross your fingers, close your eyes, and don't look. It's better if you not look. If you don't look, as long as nothing wobbles inside the thing, I think we'll be fine. I don't know why it was wobbling. It's just so funny to see it wobble through the uh, fairing. It shouldn't really do that at all, but. Whatever. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not complaining. I'm super happy about this. It's flying. It's in the air. It's getting to upper atmosphere. And since I added winglets to my bottom stage, uh, to my uh, sorry, my uh, second stage, it's a lot more stable. Look at that. It's actually flying relatively good. All right. So this is looking good, right? Not too bad. Let's go uh, 45 degrees, maybe, maybe a little bit less. Let's go 30 degrees. And. Let's try to get as much speed as we can ver um, horizontally while getting to apoapsis of about 70-ish kilometers. Because we're going to the moon, everybody. We're going to the moon. Our goal is the moon. Moon or bust. This is the name of this mission. It sounds like a simple mission, but uh, like I said before, I've never launched a self-refueling craft before. This is what we have inside here. And I may also have forgotten certain things, but... I hope I didn't, and if I did, I apologize, but we're gonna make it to the moon and we're gonna make it back. We have enough of everything. Most importantly, we have enough enough of science, enough of faith, and enough of Kerbals. We have three Kerbals on board. Okay, we're going a little bit too low, a little bit too fast. Uh, Okie okay, dokie. That's a little bit better, so let's position ourselves toward the maneuvering no node, and I just realized I forgot solar panels. Yes, I forgot solar panels. We are going to be really screwed for electric charge on this mission. Uh, science, you always make me forget things. You always make me forget. We need to burn for 700 something meters. I have enough delta V to burn here. Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. 300 delta V left. No, I'm gonna run out of delta V and then I have to re release this particular thingy. But at least I've recharged my charge, I guess. I'm pretty sure we're gonna run out of electric charge when we get to the moon. All right, uh, let's release this uh, second stage. And this is our mining theme jig. Let's uh, engage our engines. This will circularize our orbit. And we should technically be in circular orbit around Kerbin when we're done here. Alright, so uh, the mistake I made here is that I... Well, first of all, I have no solar panels, meaning that I cannot mine, obviously. I need to bring solar panels. And the other mistake is that I think I may need to bring... 
Uh, yeah, this is gonna use up all the fuel, isn't it? I need to bring more engines or something. No, I, I think we're fine for fuel, but we just need to bring solar panels. Here we go. Uh, now, um, we're gonna align ourselves with the retrograde while we still have fuel left. Burn all of our fuel and slow down as much as we can. So this is just simulating the landing on the moon. We're gonna basically think of it as a test. It's just a test of this design, how well it works, and so on and so forth. Engage our engines. And you can see the other stage flying below. Oh, thank you for subscribing. And welcome to What The Math. <laughs> Stay tuned to find out if it's gonna go well. Um, but I'm gonna just stop my engines in a second because we're about to enter the atmosphere. And then we're gonna release this last stage and use our Mark uh, II command pod to just basically air brake. I think any, any time now. Oh, let's actually just release it now, I think. We don't really need this anymore. Here we go. Bye-bye. Thank you for being with us. And air braking. Excellent. I also need to disable the temperature gauge because it does crash the game if you have temperature gauge running. Alright, let's... Uh this. Uh, so, if you um, if you know anything about these um, command modules or command uh, pods, their shape um, is actually absolutely perfect for a return to any planet. So, uh, because of this tear-like shape, they will always align with this part toward the um, velocity vector, or I guess uh, toward the uh, descent vector. And so if you put your heat shields right here, they will always, always, always uh, receive most of the heat in this part. So this part will always be safe. And this is actually a pretty awesome uh, design. Um, I believe it was actually invented by uh, the Soviets, but I could be completely wrong because uh, both Soviets and the NASA claim that this is their creation. Um, but uh, this test mission was a success, everyone, I think. Whoa, something just fell. What was that? Something just crashed. Some sort of debris from something. I'm assuming it's my second, third stage that I was using to burn right before I um, returned. Can I accelerate without killing my parachute? Maybe. Okay, it's working. A little bit more? Here we go, here we go, or here we go. Oh no, too fast. There we go, yay, return, safe return everyone. Everybody get out, take a selfie. Who's this? Who are you? I don't know. Stand in front of the ship, this is your first, first mission. Uh, next person, get out. Selfie time. Valentina, get in front of Bill. <laughs> no, not like that. Fine, like that, it's fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> Valentina, what are you doing? Valentina, I sometimes I don't even know. Sometimes it's like you don't even need to comment. It just it's this, it's this. And this is Kerbal Space Program in a nutshell, right here, because I mm, forget about her. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> She's gone. Uh, who's this? Uh, Jebediah. Jebediah, get out. Get out, stand in front of Bill. Let's take a selfie. Forget about Valentina. We don't need her. How is she doing, by the way? Yeah, she's still rolling. She's still rolling. Hey, she's got, she's up now. Can I actually make it back? Here comes the selfie. Valentina in front of everyone. Thank you very much. And snap. No, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 w